hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all the love you've shown me and if you're one of those that just watch and you pass how can you just be passing without subscribing guys support your girl now what is all these ones um so i'm going to talk about how to pack your food items in this video um if you're traveling from nigeria to canada or probably anywhere in the world but first of all i want to apologize for the low volume um in the first video i posted on how to pack your food items i didn't know it was low and a lot of you had to stra strain your ears to hear me and i'm sorry about when that. you're packing your fish when you're ready to travel double the bag now the second bag that you want to use to travel pouring some nescaf inside the black nescaf this way is actually going to trap the smell of the fish inside that bag it's not going to smell out in your bag same thing goes to your crayfish and your pepper whether it's cameroon pepper or the chili pepper now if you're in lagos and you want to buy crayfish from oyibo like in custard please be careful also always look inside the custard bucket to ensure that those people have not put an extra um, container inside to actually limit the quantity of crayfish that will be inside the custard paint this happened to me and so that is why i'm telling you if you want to um, bring your melon i'd advise that you divide your melon and obono into two bring some seeds of mel uh, melon and obono while you also grind some now when you grind your obono ensure that you tell the person to sieve the obono for um to an extent so that it can loosen out the lumps and then air it for a little bit before you pack it inside the bag if not you're going to have like lumps of obono and this will not be good now for the melon there are different kinds of melon in the market if you did not know i'm going to show you so we have like these small seeds and then we have like these normal ones so the guy who did the grinding for me told me that if i was selling it he would advise i buy the small seeds so that i can get value for my money instead of buying um these other ones that i'm going to show you now now if you're bringing gary you may want to toast your gary for a bit and even pack it in this pouch i didn't pack my gary in a nylon bag so that nothing will pierce it and, the, and i'm not going to lose the content so packing it in the pouch helps preserve it as for your beans store your beans in the freezer for some time and then when you're ready you pick it after picking it you toast it up in the oven to kill maybe if you have a little bit of weevil inside before you pack it in a pouch and always add pepper add pepper to preserve it so if you're buying anything that comes in sachet like the no cube your seasoning the coconut seasoning and all of that your maybe pound potato or pound yam i'd advise you buy um, items with extended expiry dates it is very rare for you to find seasoning cubes like no with extended expiry dates up to 2026 but sardines like the sardines i brought were like 2026 the no had an extended date as well expiry date as well you don't want to buy things in bulk that will be expiring soon like you'll be at a low so you have to get value for your money i was very particular about this so you can decide to buy your seasoning cubes close to um when you want to travel now if you're buying or for ensure that you buy the dried or for do not buy the wet or for as it's going to give you punishment to dry just buy dried or for wash it sun dry it again to take out the excess moisture before you grind it if you're buying your obono from lagos states ask them for badagri obono this is the best obono I don't know about the insuka. I have tried the insuka. It's not working because I bought both. I have always been using the badagri obono. So it's quite slimy, thick, and really sweet. But the insuka, I have used it, but it's not like, it's not giving. It's not obonoring. You understand? If you intend to buy stock fishes, also sun dry or you toast them in your air fryer for a bit because I'm team sun dry. I didn't actually get any of my leaves from the market apart from some that I got in raw form and then I washed and dried them myself. Like my mother-in-law sends me some leaves, like great quantity of leaves. If you do have any questions or you want any clarification, do not forget to ask me in the comments section. Like, subscribe to this channel and share this video with anybody you know will be interested in it. Bye and thanks for watching.